Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. So this speed build is for my rebuild Willow Creek project and it's called Sunflower Lane. Don't ask me why, I usually when I build, I build the build, whatever I'm building, I build it first and then afterwards I will, you know, try and find an appropriate name for whatever I've built. So yeah, this house does have a lot of orange in it. A lot of orange tones and orange furniture and pops of orange and stuff inside and outside so I was basically just googling you know orange flowers because I've done a build before that's right opposite this one it's actually where the goths live the other build that I'm talking about and I named that iris iris way I think yeah so I kind of want this whole street these four lots to be named after different flowers you know, just to have some kind of theme for this area of Willow Creek. But, yeah, so I was basically just googling um, orange flowers. <laughs> and I wanted to name it Kana Lane. Kana is a kind of lily. And, yeah, but I thought that would be way too hard to pronounce. And I'm probably butchering it anyway. So, I ended up placing some sunflowers in the front of this house. For, you know, as just some little flowers for the landscaping if that makes I'm I don't know what's wrong with me today but yeah so I ended up placing some sunflowers in front of this build and then obviously I decided well let's just name it sunflower lane because sunflowers are orange you know to some extent yeah they're mo mainly yellow if I'm honest but the website that I was looking at for the names for the flowers for orange flowers had sunflowers on it so I decided let's just you know Google can't lie to me I'm saying that very sarcastically, but yeah, Google can't lie to me and Google can't be wrong, so apparently a sunflower is an orange flower, so we're going with that one. But yeah, so a bit more about this house. This is for my Marx family, for the Marx family that you guys will have seen go up, you know, I think two days ago or something. If you guys didn't watch that creator some video, I will leave a link to it on the screen for you guys if you wanted to hear a bit more about the family and stuff. But yeah, so another thing that I need to mention is this house took me like three and a half hours to build. So I did cut out a lot of things that I thought was a bit unnecessary to show. So I did cut out the layout, doing the upstairs layout. Yeah, no, not the layout. I kept in the layout. Sorry. I cut out doing, furnishing the upstairs landing and putting in the f interior flooring and wallpapers. And also the, I cut out the bathrooms. But I usually cut out the bathrooms anyway, so by this point I think you guys should just start expecting me to cut out the bathrooms in whatever I'm building. Um, I will probably tell you guys if I, for some reason, didn't cut them out, but yeah, usually I cut out the bathrooms, so fair warning. <laughs> but yeah, so this house is very modern. It's I don't, I don't think any of the other houses on this um, street are going to be modern, or this modern anyway. I know Iris Way that I did, I did that way before I even had a YouTube channel. But yeah, that house is definitely more like suburban, fancy suburban. But this one is definitely a lot more modern since it fitted with what the Marx family is like. It fitted, it fits with their personality, I guess I should, should say. Since the father, Tobias, is a, not a video game designer, but he's kind of like this thick tech mogul I guess you could say he runs a few tech companies and you know like video game companies and stuff like that he's very successful in that in the video game industry and in the tech industry and stuff like that so I thought he would like a very modern house and his wife is one of his wife Delilah comes from one of the most you know affluent families in Willow Creek so she's grown up she grew up with a lot of money but she is a food critic and she has a very, you know, not a cold style, but she has a very, you know, modern and sleek kind of style. So that's also why I decided to give them a modern house since I thought, you know, with their money, they probably didn't, you know, move into an already built house. They had the house built. But yeah, so this house does have a lot. The main color scheme for this house is black and white. And then I do have, you know, pops of orange, like I said. So some of the accent walls are orange. Some of the furniture is orange. 
you know, stuff like that just to bring in a bit of color but not basically just orange so it's not a colorful bold I guess and you'll notice that the outside currently it is just black and white I do go back in later and you know make that black portion of or the gray portion of the front of the house I do turn, I do make that orange as well just to tie in a bit with the interior of the house and to make it look a little bit less boring because it I don't know it just wasn't didn't fit with what I wanted the house to look like, I guess you could say. And also, fun fun fact, this is actually the house that was supposed to be the limited tax build. So if you guys watched the other build that I put up, I don't know when I put it up. When did I put it up? I think last, last Thursday. I uploaded One Periwinkle Way. And in that, I mentioned that I accidentally, when I came back to furnish that build, for some reason I thought it was supposed to be base game and expansion packs only. So I basically furnished the whole upper floor and most of the downstairs with just the base game and the five expansion packs. And then later on I realized, well, oh shoot, this isn't the build that I meant to do this in. I can use anything. But then at that point I just didn't want to change all of it. So I left it. But yeah, this is actually the house that I started with the express intention of using only base game and the five expansion packs. So Seasons, Cats and Dogs, City Living, Get Together and Get to Work. These, those are the only packs that I have used for this. I did triple check it on the gallery and everything. That's, those are the only packs I'm using. So if you have the base game and you have all of the expansions, then you're good to go basically. But yeah, this is a three bedroom, three bedroom, two, yeah, no, not two bathroom, three bathroom, I forgot, yeah, three bedroom, three bathroom house. So there's two bathrooms upstairs, one of them is a Jack and Jill bathroom for the two children to share, for the two kids of the household to share. Then obviously we have the master bathroom and we have another full bathroom downstairs. And you'll notice that off of the, you know, not the, yeah, off of the kitchen, I added this little extra room. And when I was doing the floor plan, I had in my mind that it would be a laundry room. But obviously, I'm not using laundry day stuff for this build. So it basically turned into kind of like a scullery with the dishwasher and the cat's litter box and stuff like that. But you could add a laundry machine in there if you wanted to. And yeah, I also cut out doing the landscaping. There's not a lot of it. I mean, it's very repetitive. I use like three or four different flowers and some rocks. Since I did build this whole house and the backyard on a foundation, I wanted to try that out. And yeah, so the whole thing is on a foundation and, you know, so obviously the sides looked a bit weird. So I cut out doing the landscaping that I did to cover that up, if that makes any sense. So unfortunately, something that I didn't really think of when I did that, when I put down, you know, the fake grass texture that's actually a floor tile on the, you know, on the foundation area since you can't use floor um, not floor paint terrain paint on foundations is that when it's um, like autumn and winter the grass will look really weird because obviously all of the rest of the grass in the world will be going brown and you know kind of changing with the seasons but the floor tile which is that really vibrant green grass won't be changing so that's kind of you know it's kind, I don't know if it's an oversight or what it is, but it's kind of annoying. But I mean, there's not much you could do, do about it unless you wanted to take the house off of its foundations completely. Or you could, you know, swap out the grass outside for, you know, something like a plain rock texture, a plain rock um, floor tile or something like that, that, you know, so that you can see it's supposed to look like it was put there. It's not a natural thing. But yeah, so that's unfortunately the only thing that I could think of. But yeah, I really like this house and the fact that it has so many skylights. I'm just jumping all over the place. This voiceover is going to be like, or the video I guess I should, should say. Wow, I don't know what that was. The video I should say is about I think 23 minutes. You know, the video portion, 21 or 23 minutes, I can't remember. And I haven't done a voiceover this long in a while. So if my mind just goes all over the place and I don't make sense or I jump from one thing to the, to the next. Please excuse that. But yeah, so this house, be, with it being so modern, 
I wanted to take full advantage of the fact that we obviously now have you know glass roofs and stuff so there's a giant glass roof over the dining room area the whole back part of the house basically is a, has a glass roof so that dining room and the bar area is all under a glass roof then there's a glass skylight in the master bedroom over the stairs which is I did a really big you know two floor stair staircase room or two floor entryway I guess you would probably call it but yeah so that has a glass roof so there's a lot of natural light in this build since I also used a lot of big windows since obviously as I said I wanted it to look very modern very you know kind of like it was definitely it's not one of you know the older houses in the neighborhood you could be able to tell that well this has definitely been built recently and you yeah, I don't know. I wanted it to make it. I wanted to make it look like you could tell what kind of people would live here, if that makes any sense. I mean, you look at this, and you probably wouldn't expect, you know, some kind of old grandparent couple to live here. I probably you wouldn't really expect that. So yeah, I wanted it to fit with the family, as I said and stuff. But yeah, I did cut out some of the kitchen as well, just um, raising up stuff to put on those shelves since that took me ages because I had to raise everything up individually since, I don't know, those shelves have really weird snapping, you know, snapping spots and a lot of the things that you think would be able to go on shelves actually don't, which is, I don't know, just one of those weird Sims 4 things that, you know, you can't really explain, but it's there so it's kind of an annoyance but you know it's been there since the start of the game so you've you know kind of just gotten used to it at this point but yeah one of my i think not one of my favorite rooms i think it is my favorite room is this kitchen i don't know why i love it so much but i'm absolutely in love with that kitchen <laughs> i think it's because it's like this long room with you know counters and cabinets on both sides and you know this big island counter in the middle and I don't know I love the way it turned out I definitely would not mind a kitchen like that one day which is saying something since I'm very rarely in a kitchen <laughs> if I'm honest I can't really cook I'm not the best cook I don't make food a lot myself so I don't know what I would do with a kitchen like this but you know I would probably become a better cook just to use that kitchen if I'm if I'm being completely honest I wouldn't mind you know learning how to cook and spending a lot of time in there if my kitchen looked like that and yeah we're already done with the living room now something that I didn't do on camera and it's actually not in the screenshots either but it is on the version that's uploaded to the gallery I did add in a game console for, um, for the big TV in the living room since the, both the dad and the son, their younger son, they do enjoy video games and they play together a lot of the time. It's the story that I had in my mind. So yeah, I did want to add that in since, I don't know, it's something that I thought they definitely needed. And as I said, this is a three bedroom house, so obviously we have the master bedroom. Then I have a teenage girls room and a child's child boys room since I thought they only since I've I've already created them so you guys must have all, probably already seen them but yeah they only have two kids so they have obviously their teenage daughter and then their son and I did personalize the rooms to go you know with the individual personalities and stuff like that the little boy is very much, he takes very much after his father, he's very into gaming and, you know, gaming and movies and stuff like that. He is, one of his traits is he is a geek. And then the daughter takes a lot after the mom. So, as I said, the mom is um, a food critic and she comes from one of the, mo one of the wealthiest families in Willow Creek. So, she is used to the best. And she's raised her daughter to be kind of the same. She likes fancy things. She likes, you know, nice quality things. And the daughter is a bit, you know, a bit more feminine, I guess I would say. The, her room isn't too feminine. It's not pink or anything. Since I didn't want to make the room stand out too much in the house. Because as I said, the parents have very, you know, very specific um, ideas of what they think looks good. Or what they want their house to look like. 
and I didn't think that they would allow their kids to, you know, go crazy and paint their walls like bright colors that didn't match with the white and black and, you know, like orange of the rest of the house. So they bed all of the rooms in this house do, do have, you know, white walls and then some accent walls. But yeah, even the kids' bedrooms are white walls, have white walls. I th yeah, I definitely added in an accent wall in the girls' bedroom. I can't remember what the accent wall was. I built this house like, what, two weeks ago now, so I can't really remember everything. But yeah, I do add an accent wall in the teenage girls' room, and I don't know if I added one in the boys' room. But if I did, it, would've, would pro it will probably be very similar to the rest of the house. And even with their furniture, their parents didn't, I thought their parents wouldn't allow them to have, you know, a lot of, let's say, for example, bright yellow furniture or bright blue furniture that would stand out. So a lot of their furniture is very white and definitely blends in with the rest of the house. So it's either like white or neutral. And the girls' room is white and there is some black in it and then I did use one of the new seasons beds. I used actually the same one that I used in the parents bedroom but just a different swatch of it. So she has kind of like this creamy yellow-ish kind of bedspread so I thought that still fit with you know the rest of the house but yeah I really like how this room turned out. I tried I put the bed on an angle which is something that I don't think I've ever done which, I don't know, I thought it looked cool with, you know, the light at the back of the bed with those pillars and stuff. I thought it looked like something the parents would, you know, put in their house or it looked like something that they would have. They, they're they very, not avant-garde, but they're very, I don't know, artistic. I don't know if artistic is the right word, but yeah, they're very different, I guess I could say. They're not your typical, you know, suburban family. So... Yeah, they do come across as a bit cold. I think the house comes across as, no, not very, it's not very, it doesn't look very child-friendly from the outside. It doesn't look like, no, it kind of looks like, even if you walk into the front, you know, into the living room and the kitchen and all of that, it looks very much maybe like a young couple's house or a bachelor's house or something like that. It doesn't look like there's actually two children and a dog and a cat living here and all of that stuff. But yeah, they also have a dog and a cat. So this house does, you know, have things for both of those. And yeah, here you can actually see one of the bathrooms. This is the Jack and Jill bathroom that the two kids share. And all of the other bathrooms are basically exactly the same. They have the same wallpaper, flooring, you know, everything. I think they even have the same appliances. So it's they're basically carbon copies of each other. Everything just you know changes around. The, I just change around the placement a bit. But yeah, we've already started working on the girls' bedroom. Now I don't know. I should probably mention this now before I forget. But you'll see that later on we do add what, some of those hanging lantern things from Seasons into her bedroom. I do end up removing those because they call, they made it so that she couldn't get to the bed for some reason. Which is weird, but I know that some lights and some, um, you know, things that hang from the ceiling do have some weird effects with the Sims that make them not, being, not be able to reach certain places, which is weird. Because, you know, rationally, you would think that they would be able to reach there, but apparently not. But yeah, it is removed in the version that is up on the gallery, so... Your sims should be able to get everywhere and use everything in this house. I did play test it, sort of. <laughs> but yeah, it is, as I said, three bedroom, three bathroom. It's on a 30 by 20 lot. And it costs almost 270,000 simoleons. <laughs> so it's definitely not a budget family home. It's definitely probably not something your sims would be able to afford if you're on your first generation of a family. But if you're like me and you focus more maybe on storylines or something and you don't mind cheating, you know, to fulfill a certain storyline, then by all means, this house is definitely for you. But yeah, I, as I said, they're very, they are very, very rich. Wow, I can't speak. They're, very, they're a very rich family, so obviously I don't think money would be an issue at all. 
and we're almost done with the house actually yeah we're on to the boys room as i said it's very simplistic yeah those lanterns those lantern kind of things they do move the ones in the boys room does stay in his bedroom those stars they do stay there since they don't cause any issues for some reason but whatever and yeah as i said the two kids bedrooms are very much they definitely fit with the rest of the house they're not full of bright colors that stand out or anything they do fit with the house but we're almost to the end of this video actually i can't believe i've made it this far and i've actually talked through the whole thing i might have said some things that might not have made any sense or i might have rambled about absolute nonsense but i mean i made it so there's something but yeah if you guys are new to the channel and you would like to see more of this series now my rebuild Willow Creek project is something that I'm doing. I'm also rebuilding all of the other worlds. So it's kind of like I'm putting a save file together basically. So if you guys would like to see more of this series, do feel free to hit the subscribe button and stick around to see more of my content. Also remember to hit the notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload. I do upload at least four times a week. Sometimes I will post extra videos throughout the week, maybe one or two or something like that, but at least four times a week I do post. So yeah, I post everything from create the sims to builds to let's plays. I have one of those running at the moment, the runaway teen challenge. And that one goes up on Sundays unless, you know, something happens and I can't upload it when, you know, on a Sunday. But yeah, so... That goes up on Sundays, and then I do periodically do, you know, current household updates. I'm playing the Lunar Zodiac Challenge, which I do update you guys on every now and then. And, you know, I'm also playing the Family Dynamics Challenge, but I haven't done an update on that one as of yet. I'm already on the second generation, so I don't know if I'm going to do updates on that one. But I do do updates on my um, Lunar Zodiac Challenge family. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like the house. If you want to download it, it is up on the gallery. It is completely custom content free. This whole save file will be completely custom content free. All of the sims, all of the houses, all of the lots, everything is CC free. So you can really easily download it from the gallery. And you can find it by searching the hashtag Chrissy York. Um, the hashtag rebuild willow creek that or by just going to my gallery profile page which is just chrissy york all of those links you know for my gallery page my name and everything is in the description if you wanted to check it there but yeah also follow me over on twitter if you guys want updates i do do updates on twitter every now and now and then of what i'm posting when i'm posting it you know maybe why a certain video could be late or something like that uh, my Twitter is also linked in the description, but I hope you guys have, are having an awesome day, and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone! Keep on driving and driving along the road to never end Lost my head of Hilma's back between the chores and bottle jug Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving